Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what we want you to hear. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone. Let's get straight into this and find out what we want you to know. So I've already pulled some cards here. I've already picked up on an energy. Whoever I'm picking up on today, you have broken a soul tie. Okay, you have severed the cord here. Um, and... This may have been something that you intentionally done, or this could have been something that had happened because of a series of events, okay? Um, but I definitely see that a soul tie has been broken, and it's actually doing wonders for you. Like, you seem to be thriving, you seem to be back in your own energy. You also seem to be recognising your power and just tapping into your own energy and recognizing how powerful that is, right? You are also recognizing how depleted that you have been while this person was in your life, okay? This person really was affecting your energy, kind of taking a lot of your energy i just seen one two three you may not have even noticed right you may have become so used to this person taking all your energy this person taking all the attention that you may not have even realized that that was your energy okay but now that this soul tie has broken and you have all your energy back good things seem to be happening for you, right? There's opportunity here. Then just, it feels like things are in alignment. You may be getting signs, okay? You may be getting opportunity. Just, there's a lot of new energy around you. And you also have recognised your power. You have recognised the importance of your energy, right? Now, the person that you're dealing with, the person that you had this soul tie with, they're not doing good at all, okay? They actually seem to be out of character, out of their element, okay? This person has been disrupted because you have taken your energy back. And this person, they feel lost, they don't know what to do. There's a lot of things that this person is saying and they may be coming from a place of anger and a place of hurt. Um, this person, it feels like they have lost control. They are very unhappy at the moment. They're recognising the importance of your energy and how powerful you are. And I just think 313... They are also recognising that you were fueling this person. This person feels lost. They don't know what to do, right? You may notice this person, there's just a lot of red flags that in presenting right now. They may even be physically sick, right? Like this person, they may feel like something's wrong, okay? They may be going to the doctor, trying to fig figure out what's wrong with them. Um, the thing is, nothing's wrong with them on a physical level. They're just... They became so dependent on your energy that when you took it back, they don't feel right, right? They feel like something's wrong. They feel like that they need to do something. I just seen 414. They need to do something, they need to go to the doctor, they need to find out what's wrong. When, again, nothing's wrong, you just took your energy back, okay? But again, it feels like this person, they're having a lot of... It's almost like they're in this panic mode, right? It's like they're trying to find something... Something's missing. They feel like something's missing and they're trying to find it. I just seen 444. Then Scorpio energy here. Then Taurus energy. Then Aries energy. Aquarius energy as well.
Okay, so this person feels like nothing's working out for them. Like they feel like when you were in their life, they felt very magical, right? Now, you are somebody that you're a master manifester, right? So whatever you put your mind to, whatever you put your energy into, you're going to manifest it and you're going to do it very quickly, right? The thing is, this person, as I mentioned, they were running off your energy and they thought that, you know, things just kind of fell into place for them. It's not working anymore. This person doesn't know what to do. This person is very dependent on other people's energy. And there's this energy here where it's like they're trying to find you and somebody else. But they they don't even realise that it's you. Like, they think that they're trying to look for somebody that's like you, right? The thing is, it's your energy. And... This person, they felt really protected when your energy went around. You are somebody that really does spiritually protect the people around them. So they felt safe. They felt content. But again, this soul tie has been broken. You have your energy. You seem to be manifesting instantly at the moment. Um... And you're focused on protecting yourself. You're focused on your own goal, okay? This person, though, they're focused on getting your attention. They want access to your energy. Even though the soul tie has broken and you feel free, this person, they don't feel free, Okay, they feel like nothing's working out for them. They feel like that they're having really bad luck. Um, they're really unhappy. They seem to be doing things that are very impulsive. Um, again, it's like they're acting out of character, but this person, they're having this kind of ego death. And they're recognising that they don't really know who they are. And if I'm being real, this person, they don't really have the best traits. Um, but being around you made them look better. And the thing is, you being around them made you look worse. So, again, this soul tie breaking is a good thing for you. You feel free. You feel kind of magical at the moment, okay? You're getting a lot of attention. You, it's like you have this aura about you, right? I'm picturing somebody with this very pure white aura. But it also had shades of gold, okay? So I'm getting that your energy, like you're just in this energy where you're embracing life, um... You feel free. You also are going through a spiritual awakening. So being around this person really depleted you. This person may have even made you feel insecure or maybe you didn't know who you were. This is a very toxic duo. You may have thought that this person, you had a soul connection with them. But any type of soul connection this was, it was very karmic, okay? And you were dealing with an energy vampire. Then Leo energy here. So you may have had a pinky injury okay you may have hurt your pinky or this person may have hurt their pinky right that's an indication that the soul tie has been broken um maybe you like broke your pinky finger but if you have dealt with that that is an indication that 
the soul tie has been broken. Okay, and whoever this is, this could even be a divine masculine or a divine feminine, a divine counterpart that had gone off track. A lot of people believe that you can't, you know, cut the soul tie between twin flames. That's not true. You actually can if the other person goes off path, right? And you can in this lifetime, okay? So if you do break the soul tie um, in this lifetime with a divine counterpart, in next lifetime, you're still going to have the soul connection, okay? So you can cut the cord. And it will work, okay, if you do like a ritual or whatever to cut the cord, it will work. I just seen 11-11, but only for this lifetime. And only if your divine counterpart, you know, they're going through things that, you know, they've chosen the wrong path, okay? So, for some of you, this could have been a divine counterpart, a divine masculine, because there is the emperor card here. But it doesn't have to be. Whoever this is, the soul tie has been cut. It's been severed, right? For this lifetime. And this is something that benefits you. This is something that has made you feel free. This is something that... Right now, you're going through this period of independence. So, you could have been in a very codependent relationship with this person. Maybe you were married to them. Um, or it was just very long term. Like, just, I just need 12-12. Like, a long term commitment. Um, but right now, it feels like this soul tie breaking. You have now stepped into this independent okay and you are somebody that naturally you're independent like you can't handle being codependent right you're somebody that you thrive when you feel independent okay and you are a very independent person the thing is you had somebody that was codependent on you right so now you're going through a period of really getting to know yourself again getting to experience things alone maybe you're traveling alone or maybe you're just you know going out alone and just experiencing things with yourself right whoever i'm picking up on it feels like you've been in a codependent situation for a very long time and you thrive you really do you thrive you love this right you feel free you feel like there's new opportunity new people coming in you feel like you know nothing holding you back nothing holding you down it feels very liberating for you the person on the other hand they're very codependent they like to be codependent um especially on you because you're a very lucky and blessed person Right, so everything that you touch literally turns to gold. You just have this energy, this aura about you where you radiate love. You also radiate protection. So naturally, people want to be around you, right? Naturally, people feel safe around you. But the thing is, this person wasn't making you feel safe. If anything, they were bringing a lot of bad karma to you. And you know this right? Like, you having this soul tie with this person was bringing you down and bringing you bad karma. And you're somebody that you naturally have very good karma. You're such a good person. I just seen 1441. So basically, you have this person here. They think that they know how to manipulate you, right? They think that they know how to get to you. Um, the thing is, nothing's working. Literally nothing is working right now. They cannot get to you. You're going to see this person try a range of things to get your attention. 
they're going to try to defend you, okay? They're going to try to trigger you. They're going to try to replace you. They're really trying to get your attention. They just want you to say something. They just want you to do something. They just want you to talk to them, okay? You may even notice this person making up excuses to see you or maybe you notice this person walking past your house or like walking into your work okay just feels like this person randomly popping up and it's because they are trying to get back in your energy this person i mean ever since that you have cut this person's energy off they don't feel right as I mentioned, they could be going through health issues or they think that they're going through health issues. Um, basically, for a long time, you were ignoring your intuition and you were staying connected to this person. Um, you were ignoring the red flag. You were ignoring the sign. You were ignoring things that you intuitively knew and now it's like you almost feel embarrassed like being associated to this person and ignoring your intuition and I see you it's like you have really put yourself first and you have all this self-respect for yourself um and you're recognising that you were really degrading yourself by even being connected to this person. I just seen seventeen, seventeen. You would like kind of degrading yourself because this person, like you know, and you could see this person's red flag. Other people could see this person's red flag. Um, everything that this person was doing to you, you intuitively knew it, but you decided to keep the peace for a little bit. And you were stuck, okay? You could have been dealing with maybe you have children with this person or a house or you felt like you couldn't get away. But I do see you kind of being embarrassed that you were even entertaining this for so long, okay? So naturally, this person's going to try to they're going to try everything, okay, and you've really put your foot down, and when you put your foot down, you, you know, when you make a decision, you mean it, right, and again, you can really, right now, you're listening to your intuition, you have spent a long time not listening to it, and you are aware of this, but now, it's like you have put all your faith into your intuition, and you have really made this choice to step away from this person and you know that this person's going to try to get back into your life. You know this about this person. This person may have already tried. Um, so I'm also getting this energy where they're going to Okay, I did mention that this person they feel like that they're sick, okay? But this person, it feels like they're going to either act like they're really sick or try to get to your heart center, okay? They're going to act like they need your help, right? Whoever this is, like, they are, they're going to, they're trying to manipulate you. They're somebody that, manip like, they manipulate people, okay? You may know this about them. But now they're trying to do it to you. And they're really trying to make you feel bad for them. Okay? You're going to have to be strong. Because this person, at this point, you're both battling for your energy. Okay? So you're going to have to really be strong. Really be firm. Understand that, yes, this person, they're going to come and pull on your heartstrings. But... You have to recognise that, I mean, this person, they're trying to trick you, okay? 
And you know what this person's like, right? It's like they want to reconnect this soul tie. They want your energy back in their life because it really benefits them, right? So you're going to have to be very strong. They know that you're a really good person. They know that you're really kind. They know that they think they know how to get to you. Now, the thing is about this person, I mentioned this, but they have a lot of bad karma that they need to live out. They need to live out their karma. You don't. But when you're connected to this person, it's like you get bad luck, things go wrong. And that's only by choice, okay, by being around this person. Otherwise, you actually have really good karma. And when you're not connected to them, you will realise how lucky that you are, how you instantly manifest, right? How everything seems to go in your favour. That's not a coincidence, okay? You will always notice um, signs as well. When you're away from this person, it's like you get good signs. There's Capricorn energy here, there's Aquarius energy. So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.